All right, guys, Sunday night here. <clears throat> the previous uh, cut that I showed you was a clip from the um, train show today. I actually ended up buying that last small box of um, uh, N-Scale stuff from that guy, and I, I thought I got a pretty good deal on it because I made him an offer for the whole box, and he accepted it. I'm going to show you uh, a finished project, a small project that I just did. It's the Blair Line uh, drive-in theater. So this is an N-scale little drive-in theater and then I will show you the uh, balance of the uh, finished Northern Light and Power electric plant early uh, 1900s, 20th, early 20th century. So it could have been built in like 1910 it looks like. So I'll show you those two now and uh, take a look. Okay, the Blair Line drive-in theater. So that's the screen ticket booth and uh, the sign and that will go on the layout downstairs this is complete and uh, was an easy kit to build uh, really not that difficult here's a completed northern light and power with the uh, decal signs on it and uh, again this was a typical building it's supposed to represent a power plant smokestack in back of the early uh, 1900 say early 20th century and uh, I'm pleased with the way this one it's a, a Walters kit they all come out pretty good if you know what you're doing and uh, this one will be look very nice on the layout last thing I'm going to show you is are the uh, mainline and siding mainline and siding craftsman kits uh, first one is Rogers <coughs> plumbing supply and then we have Western Pennsylvania uh, it's a garage these are real true craftsman kits. Uh, I'll show you in a moment what I mean. They're very difficult to build. Okay, so this is the kit. This is the building, which is uh, Western Pennsylvania uh, Monument Company. And um, this is it. I mean, these are the parts. You can see here, it's a bunch of sticks and wood that uh, that's why they call it a craftsman kit it takes a high degree of skill this will take a lot of time to build if I start it probably take uh, two to three weeks at least to build this and the company went out of business probably 15 years ago I remember seeing these many years ago and it's in mint condition this is abs I'm absolutely pleased at at this purchase because you can't buy this anymore in the store and it is just in mint condition so I look forward to starting this one at some point pretty soon all right guys that's it for now have a great rest of the evening and I'm going to uh, do a uh, just an update tomorrow on uh, new projects talk to you soon model on <laughs>